ever pondered about the possibility of life beyond the confines of our planet? What if there's a realm within our very own solar system that could potentially house the answer to this age-old enigma? Journey with us to the mesmerizing world of Europa, a moon orbiting the giant planet Jupiter. Unveiling herself in a cloak of ice, Europa isn't your typical moon. Her surface isn't adorned with rock or dirt, but with a thick icy layer. But that's not the end of her mysteries. Hidden beneath this icy armor, scientists theorize a subsurface ocean. It's not a mere frozen wasteland, but a potential reservoir of liquid water heated by the moon's own tidal flexing. This revelation presents us with possibilities that border on the fantastic. Could this hidden ocean be a sanctuary for alien life? Could the icy Europa someday become humanity's second home? Europa, an icy world shrouded in enigma, invites us to delve into its depths and uncover its secrets. Our curiosity has led us to send missions to this intriguing moon to uncover its secrets. The allure of Europa's icy plains and the tantalizing possibility of a subsurface ocean have beckoned scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Over the years, a number of missions have sought to unravel the mysteries of this icy world. The first close-up images of Europa were brought to us by the Pioneer 10 and 11 missions in the early 70s. These spacecraft gave us a tantalizing glimpse of the moon's icy surface, hinting at the possibility of an ocean beneath. Later in the late 90s and early 2000s, the Galileo spacecraft, while primarily aimed at studying Jupiter, provided more detailed images of Europa's surface, strengthening the hypothesis of a hidden ocean. The data collected indicated that this ocean may be twice the volume of all Earth's oceans combined. A staggering revelation. Our most ambitious mission to Europa, however, is yet to come. NASA's Europa Clipper mission, planned to launch in the next few years, aims to get up close and personal with Europa. The mission's primary goal is to confirm the existence of the subsurface ocean and investigate its depth and salinity. The Clipper will orbit Jupiter, making multiple close flybys of Europa. Equipped with a suite of scientific instruments designed to probe the Moon's ice shell and subsurface waters. The Clipper mission will also scout suitable landing sites for future lander missions, which could potentially drill into the ice and sample the waters beneath, bringing us one step closer to answering the question of whether life exists on Europa. But it's not just NASA aiming for Europa. The European Space Agency's JUICE mission, short for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, set to launch in the mid-2020s, will also investigate Europa, along with its fellow moons Ganymede and Callisto. As we continue to explore Europa, we inch closer to understanding its potential for sustaining life. Each mission brings us one step closer to answering the tantalizing question, could we one day call Europa home? The question on everyone's mind is, could Europa harbor life? Imagine a world with an endless ocean, hidden beneath a shell of ice. This isn't a scene from a science fiction novel, it's a description of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Scientists believe that this moon, with its icy surface and subsurface ocean, could have the necessary conditions for life as we know it. Life, as we understand it, requires three fundamental ingredients. A source of energy, a stable environment, and the presence of water. Europa checks off all these boxes. Let's take water, for instance. Europa's subsurface ocean is believed to be twice the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. That's a lot of H2O. The existence of this ocean beneath the icy surface suggests the presence of a heat source, which could be the tidal energy generated by Jupiter's gravitational pull. This heat could maintain the ocean's liquid state and possibly drive underwater volcanic activity, providing the necessary energy for life. As for a stable environment, Europa's icy shell, although exposed to harsh radiation from Jupiter, could protect the subsurface ocean and any potential life within it. The icy surface could also trap organic molecules, which are the building blocks of life, providing a steady supply of nutrients to the ocean below. However, it's important to note that these are all hypotheses based on what we currently know about life. The existence of these conditions does not guarantee the presence of life, but certainly makes it a possibility. The real challenge lies in confirming these theories. This would require sophisticated instruments capable of drilling through the ice and sampling the ocean below. Such missions are currently beyond our technological reach, but they remain a tantalizing prospect for future exploration. 
If life does exist on Europa, it would redefine our understanding of where and how life can exist. This icy moon could hold the answers to some of our most profound questions about the universe and our place within it. The possibility of life on Europa raises an exciting prospect. Could we colonize this icy moon? While this question has captivated imaginations for decades, the reality of colonizing Europa presents a host of complex challenges. Firstly, let's tackle the elephant in the room, radiation. Europa exists within Jupiter's potent radiation belts, which would be lethal to humans and damaging to equipment over time. This radiation also interacts with Europa's icy surface, producing potentially harmful chemical compounds. Any colonization effort would require robust shielding, both for settlers and for the technology that supports them. Next, we must consider the extreme cold. Europa's surface temperature can plunge to a bone-chilling negative 170 degrees Celsius. That's colder than the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. The extreme cold could wreak havoc on conventional machinery and human life, necessitating the development of new technologies and materials capable of withstanding such temperatures. Just as Earth's pioneers had to grapple with the challenge of accessing resources, so too would settlers on Europa. The icy moon's resources are primarily locked beneath its thick icy crust. Drilling through this crust to access the subsurface ocean and its potential bounty of resources would be a monumental engineering feat. Moreover, the distance from Earth would make resupply missions costly and time-consuming. And let's not forget about gravity. Europa's gravity is just 13% of Earth's, which could have significant health impacts on settlers. Long-term exposure to low gravity can lead to muscle atrophy, bone density loss, and other health issues. These challenges may seem insurmountable, but they also present opportunities for innovation and discovery. Overcoming them would push the boundaries of human knowledge, technology, and resilience. It requires us to rethink what it means to be a spacefaring species, to transform the impossible into the possible. Colonizing Europa would be a daunting task, but one that could yield incredible rewards. The prospect of establishing a human presence on this distant moon of potentially discovering extraterrestrial life is a testament to the audacity of human ambition. It's a daunting task, no doubt, but one that could redefine our place in the cosmos. Despite the challenges, scientists and engineers are already brainstorming ways to make Europa our second home. The icy moon of Jupiter with its subsurface ocean offers tantalizing possibilities for colonization. And although these strategies are still mostly on the drawing board, they give us a glimpse into what might be possible in the not too distant future. One idea is to construct habitats on Europa's icy surface. These outposts could be built with materials sourced from Europa itself, potentially making use of the moon's water ice for both structure and life support systems. These habitats would need to be heavily insulated and shielded from radiation, but with the right technology they could provide a toehold for humanity on this distant moon. Another approach is to go beneath the surface and build habitats in the subsurface ocean. Imagine, if you will, underwater colonies where inhabitants live and work in pressurized habitats, protected from radiation by the thick ice above. These underwater cities could potentially tap into thermal vents for heat and energy, much like deep sea creatures do on Earth. Then there's the concept of terraforming, altering Europa's environment to make it more Earth-like. This is by far the most ambitious and far-fetched strategy. It would involve massive engineering projects to warm the moon's surface, thicken its atmosphere, and perhaps even introduce Earth-based life forms. While this is currently beyond our technological capabilities, it's a testament to human imagination and our drive to explore and colonize new frontiers. These strategies, while exciting, are not without their challenges. We need advances in technology, a better understanding of Europa's environment, and the will to invest in long-term space exploration. But if we've learned anything from our history, it's that we're a species of explorers, builders, and dreamers. No matter how daunting the task, human ingenuity continues to find ways to make the impossible possible. Yet with the prospect of colonization comes a host of ethical and environmental concerns. Imagine, if you will, disturbing potential indigenous life forms or even the moon's pristine icy environment. The ripple effects could be unimaginable. We might unintentionally disrupt Europa's ecosystem or worse, cause harm to undiscovered life. In this age of exploration, our decisions carry weight and consequence. 
As we venture out into the cosmos, we must tread carefully, respecting the sanctity of life and nature. The future of Europa remains uncertain but full of possibilities. Our desire to reach beyond the stars fuels our curiosity. As we study and learn more about this icy moon, we unlock the potential for new habitats, new worlds, and perhaps new life. The challenges are immense, but so too are the rewards. The possibility of colonizing Europa is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. As we continue to explore the cosmos, our understanding of life, the universe, and our place in it continues to evolve.